Hi, my name is Dundup King and I'm an anthropology major with global health minor at the college. Today I'll be talking about Terexicum officinale, also known as the common dandelion. It is a member from the Esteraceae family. An overview of today's talk. I'll be talking about the botanical description of the common dandelion, its diverse range of traditional uses, its chemical and pharmacology, biological activity, clinical studies, contraindications, and some of its current uses in complementary and alternative medicine. Many people see dandelion as a perennial weed and spray it off from their lawns. Terexicum officinale is native to Europe and Asia. It is widely distributed in warm temperate zones of the northern hemisphere, where you can find them in open fields, gardens, semi-arid land, and roadsides. As you can see from the picture on the left side, it has a rose-like flower pattern with serrated leaves. Dandelions are the name lion's tooth came from the deep jagged shape of the leaves. The fruit refers to its spherical fluffy seeded heads at the top of the picture, which gives it another common name as the blowball. The leaves and roots sec secrete bitter milky latex that has great medicinal properties. Terexicum officinale has played a great role in traditional herbal medicine. It has been used as a folkloric medicine for a diverse range of diseases. Arabian physicians first referred to the therapeutic use of dandelion during the 10th and 11th century to treat liver and spleen ailments. Traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda medicine employed the Terexicum genius for over 2,000 years. The first recorded reference to dandelion in traditional Chinese medicine date back to 659 AD. The East Indians used the common dandelion as a hepatic, stimulant, diuretic, and to treat liver disorders, chronic skin diseases back in the 16th century. Native Americans used dandelion decoctions to treat kidney disease, swelling, or skin diseases, or heartburn and dysplasia. German physician botanist Leon Fugue described in, in extensive records of the medicinal applications of the Terexicum officinale in 1543 to treat gout and blister liver complaints. The French have several names for the common dandelion, one of them as pisslet which literally translated as piss in bed, referring to the dandelion's diuretic effect. In Turkey, the herb was used as a laxative, diuretic, and anti-diabetic di medicine. Besides the traditional uses of uh, dandelion as medicinal properties, it also has non-medical uses. The serrated leaves are eaten as salad, boiled and flavored as a side dish, or in soups. The flowers made into tea and wine. Although there are sources that support the use of dandelion part as food is limited, however, it, is it has a high content of minerals, fibers, vitamins. It has a high con uh, level of potassium. Here are some of its chemical structure of, of terexicum officinale, such as terexidrol. The main constituents in Terexicum officinale are cisco-terpene lactones for anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. Dandelion's bitterness is due to its cisco-terpene lactones found in the leaves, stems, and the root. Many of the comp components of dandelion have been isolated and identified, but the pharmacological activities are still under research. Dandelion root extract is thick and it is the main component for obtaining the appropriate pharmaceutical drugs. Triterpenes, phytosterols promote reduced cholesterol absorption. The phytochemical composition of dandelion depends on the season, the time of harvest, and ecological factors and parts of the plant that are used. One in vivo study conducted on male mice revealed to have anti-angiogenic effect. The retinoic 
acid play a role in interfering with the formation of new blood vessels. And the graph on the right side shows anti-angiogenic activity from teraxicum ethno extract with respect to an increase in dosage. This study provides a pharmacological basis on its traditional uses in treating anti-inflammatory diseases and cancer. Both in vivo and in vitro studies on rats exhibit antioxidant activities when dandelion root and leaf extracts are administered. Leaf and root extract contain great content of polyphenol that give the perspective um, protection from free radical formations. Phenolic compounds such as flavonoids and cumeric acids from the flowers also have antioxidant effect. The mechanism of action of its hypoglycemic effect give controversial result. Certain dandelion extracts sim stimulate the release of insulin that reduce the blood sugar level. However, more thorough research study is needed to confirm which of the dandelion extract initiate this stimulation. Aqueous extract of Terexicum officinale have been long used in traditional medicine throughout Asia, Europe, and North America for the treatment of, treatment of breast cancer and leukemia. However, the me mechanism of action is unknown. In vitro studies have shown that dandelion extracts kill human hepatitis cell and exhibit toxicity to cancerous cells. Root extract was found to block breast cancer cell invasion. The prevention of rapid tumor cell growth attribute to the triterpenoids and ziscoterpene. Traditional folk medicine has been using dandelion for hepatic disorders such as such as detoxifying agent. The leaf extract have shown to inhibit fatty acid buildup and inflammation that cause liver injuries. Conversely, the me me mechanism by which the leaf extract exert hepatoprotective effects are still unclear. Dandelion was used in traditional medicine Riza, Turkey for its antimicrobial activity. The milky sap from the root and leaves have shown efficacy in removing verruca and root warts from the skin. On the other hand, dandelion is a heavy metal absorber. A research done in Bosnia shown that dandelion is a hyperaccumulative plant and is a bioindicator of heavy metals, particularly lead. Dandelion leaf extracts given to rats account for 100% weight loss and diuretic effects. To assess urine volume and frequency, human subjects are given fresh hydroethnolic extract of dandelion. The result of the test indicate diuretic effect, but additional studies are needed. The problem of this study is that the sample size of the human subjects were small. Some of the contraindications. Dandelions are found to be considered as grass, low toxicity, suggested for dietary supplement. However, since studies have indicated that dandelions are heavy metal absorbers, it is not recommended to pick dandelions grown on recreational parks, off the side of the roads, or in the backyard. Today, traditional Chinese medicine specialists prescribe dandelion for lung, breast tumor, jaundice, uh, hepatitis, and UTI. In Western medicine, Fresh dandelion and dried dandelion preparations include um, that are used for stimulate appetite, ease stomach distress, root as mild laxative, and the sap from the root to treat diabetic. Um, the extract induce apoptosis, and there in the current market, there's dandelion tea and supplements. The take-home points on Terexicum officinalis are its long history of applications as a diverse range of traditional folk medicinal uses. Its high content of minerals on such as vitamins support the various non-medical uses. Despite dandelion's wide range of biological activities, research findings are still underway to understand this herb. 
More clinical studies are needed to verify its biological activities and the role of its chemical components. Thank you.